Hi, I'm Kim Marie Ross, and I'm here with Diane, Lisa, and Teresa, and we are about to do flat belly abs and sculpted arms. So just a quick tip before we get started, you will be using your 10-inch cords. Now those are your shorter cords. You have long cords, and then you have shorter cords. So go ahead, get those connected, and we're gonna get started right away. All right, let's start with a warm-up. So go ahead, down onto your bum, and just go ahead and take your rings out front, feet together. We're gonna do a nice, gentle stretch forward, upper back stretch. Just press, press it forward, just gently. You can feel that in your inner thighs as well. And then release up, nice job. Let's do it one more time. We're just going a little ways until we get more warmed up and release. Take those rings and just roll them gently to the right. Just hold that stretch for a moment, release, and let's go to the other side. Now we're gonna be stretching throughout the workout, so we're just gonna do a quick little stretch here before we get started, but I want you to go ahead and come up onto your knees. Okay, let's begin with a deep breath in, count of four. And now press it out, round out through the spine, push it forward all the way, feel that stretch, it feels so good. Deep breath in again. And then exhale on the way out. Nice job, bring it up and over that imaginary half ball, bring it up. Everything is very gentle and smooth and just a little slower now, just hold. Release, now stretch up through the spine and release down. Let's go gently to the right, back to the center and to the left. Nice job, go ahead and take your rings behind your back. Shoulder blades are together, chest is out and just, just hold that stretch for just a moment. And now let's bring it up and over, bending forward and down to the mat. And release, coming up. Bring your rings out front. And I just want you to push forward gently, feel that stretch, round out through your upper back. Nice, gentle stretch and release. Go ahead and roll those rings out to the right. And practice your deep breathing in and out throughout the workout. So whenever we're doing um, various exercises, if we're doing them at a different tempo, just try to match your breathing to the tempo and release. Okay, good. Go ahead and come on down to your bum. Feet together, rings together, and nice stretch forward. Hold and release. Okay, so we're gonna start out a little bit slower and we're gonna keep intensifying throughout the workout. So let's start with just a very gentle kind of modified setup. So the rings are on the bottom of the feet. It's always important, thumbs are on the outside of the rings. Pull it up, feel the tension of the cords. Chest is out, shoulders are back. Now go ahead and just pull back into your belly and release forward. This is super easy. We're just warming up the core, warming up our arms and preparing ourselves for a little more intensity, second round, okay? Give me five more just like that. So focus on thumbs on the outside of the rings. Focus on just a little tiny lift up and back to engage the arms. We've got two more, pull it back. And final one, hold it here. Chest is out, shoulders are back. Now release the rings and pull it in for eight. Nice job. Now you're gonna start to feel that in your biceps. You're gonna start to feel that a little bit in your quads and of course in your core. Final four, you got three more, good job. Two, and one, release. Now let's elbow down four left. So just go ahead, lift up. So what you're doing is tightening that tension and pulling it back, final two. And one other side for four. Final three, lift it up two, and one. Okay, nice job. Gonna intensify it a little bit more. So go ahead and bring your heels in. Now this is also a modified sit-up and we're still gonna be working core, arms, and a little bit of the quad. So lift it up, bring it just a little bit up and over, tuck it into your belly and up. We've got eight of those, up and over. Nice job. So if you have a problem doing a regular sit-up, this is a great modified sit-up. It's also working your arms, working a little bit of your quads. So it's more of a total body sit up without any stress or strain to the neck or back. Final two, hold on one, hold it here. By now you're feeling it in the arms. Just hold it, chest is out, shoulders are back, and release. Pull it in for eight, seven, it's an upright row. Six, five more, final four, three, 
Final two, and hold on one. Release, elbow down, left for four. Nice job. Final two, and one other side to the right for four. Pull it up, breathing in and out, two, don't hold your breath, and one and hold it here. Okay, shake it out. You can feel it in your arms, right? So the nice thing about those modified sit-ups is the arms are working as well. So press it forward. Now that feels good because we've already worked those muscles pretty intensely through the upper body. So that's why we call it um, sculpted arms as well. So push it forward and release. Okay, so we're gonna take it up a notch. So each time we're gonna take it up just a little more, but you go at your own pace. If you cannot uh, master the whole workout the first time, that's okay. Always go at your own pace. So bring your right foot into your ring, tuck it into your belly, chest is out, shoulders are back. Now bring your knee up, and now we're just gonna extend our foot out and in. Point the toe out, knee in. Now as you come in, think about squeezing the core. Thumbs are on the outside of your rings, holding that ring up. Final four, three, bring it in. Final two, nice job. And one, hold it here. Now lift that ring over your head into a big V. Open V and then close. Seven of those, just like that. Again, if you can't do all of them, that's okay. Take a break and come back in. Maybe next time you'll do a, a few more reps. Final four, pull it in. Three, final two, and one. Drop that left foot down, bring it into the belly, and now bring that foot up and heel down for eight, lift it up. Now this is where we get our quads. You're gonna be feeling that in your thighs. Feels very good. Now keep those, keep that ring tight into your belly. Thumbs are on the outside of the ring, chest is out, shoulders are back. Final four, final three. You got it, two, lift that leg up. And one, hold it here, rock back, knee is up. And now bring it out into a big V again. Tuck it into your belly, foot up for four, three, final two, and one, and crisscross for four, three, final two, and one, and bring it down. Okay, foot into your knee. Now, I know you're feeling it, because I'm definitely feeling it, and your heart rate might even be going up now, because, now pull that back, bring it on top of the toes, because uh, we are engaging a lot large muscle groups simultaneously. Press that foot forward just gently, and release. Let's go ahead and stretch a little bit further. Take that right leg over the left, bring your rings to the side. We're gonna do a little bit of a glute stretch here. Just lean into your rings, press it up, roll it back, a little bit deeper stretch. Hold your stretch and release. Okay, so feeling it, right? This is very good for your total body, but we're really trying to hit the core in the upper body. So, left foot, same thing. So. Go ahead, tuck it into your belly, chest is out, shoulders are back. Rock back, bring your knee up, point the toe out for eight, knee in and squeeze. You got it. Six more just like that. Five, bring it in. Final four, three, two, hold on one, bring up in the air, big B out, tuck it in. All the way out and in. By the second or third time you do this workout, you'll be a pro, but definitely take a break when you need to. Final four, three, final two, and one, hold it here, bring your foot down, heel down, and lift up. So it's actually a lift up. You're very intentional about lifting that leg up. Keep your shoulders back, chest out. Don't round out through your belly this way. You wanna make sure you've got good posture at all times. Deep breath in and out. Final two and one. Bring it up, knee is out, foot is out. And go ahead and bring it up for four, three, two, and one. And crisscross for four, three, final two, and one. Okay, go ahead and bring your foot in. So that second part of that segment is a little more challenging. So I really do want you to stop and take a break when you need to, but at the same time, challenge yourself. Okay, suck your belly in and back. Nice stretch through the upper back. And release, deep breath in. And release back. 
Nice job. Okay, let's go ahead and stretch. Left foot over the right. Go ahead and lean into your rings. Nice big stretch. And release. Press it up and roll it back. Lean into it. Hold your stretch and release. Okay, doing a great job. So we're gonna take it up another notch. Again, no worries. You've got your resist with this next part. And so I want you to really focus on using the, the resist is going to work as your assist. So, so, so go ahead and bring your toes in and I'll show you how that works. This resist, throw your rings over your head and up. See how that resist is holding your body in place. So use that, pull it back, arms are over the head. Tippy toes forward, lift it up and lock the legs. Lock the legs and a little tiny pump right on the bottom ring. Final four, three, working the arms, working the thighs a little bit, and then also the abs. Final two, and give me one more hold. Now push it up just a little bit more over your head, tuck it into your belly, and now over the head, and stretch it out for eight. Seven more, take a break if you need to. Six, push it up and over. Final five, pull it back. Four, three more. Final two, hold on one. Tippy toes forward, pull it back to your belly. Got eight just like that, nice job. All right, so even if you're a beginner, you can accomplish this because these rings, the cords, are gonna hold your body in place. So, but what I want you to think about is maybe do, if you feel like, oh, it's too hard, do a few this time, add a couple more next time. Final two, and one. Whew. Nice job, okay, excellent. If you just finished that, you did athletic level exercises. And uh, you know, we talk about it a lot with three times three, but it is allowing you, push it back, to do exercises you could not otherwise do. So all the benefits that go with that. Okay, bring your feet together, toes are together, rings are facing up, and press it forward. Big, huge stretch through the upper body, and release. Okay, so the next part, we're gonna really focus on some lower ab work. Okay, one foot in each ring. Now I'm gonna give you a modification for this, especially if you are petite, you might find this to feel a little more cumbersome at first, but we really are targeting the lower part of our abs, so I want you to, to challenge yourself with it. So I'm gonna, Lisa's gonna be doing the modification, so let's go ahead and get into position. Grab the top of your rings and just go ahead and lay back. Now, press those rings out, feel the tension in your cords. This is an inner outer thigh press, so feel how much tension that takes. That's the tension I want you to keep on the rings. Now Lisa is gonna keep her hands on the rings because it's a little bit harder for her to do, and it may be for you at first as well. So head in the palm of your hands. It's key to just rest your head. You're looking straight up at the ceiling, and go ahead and lower those rings down. Now you've got full pressure on the rings, and now we're gonna do a rotation to the right, to the center, and to the left. You're gonna feel that in your quads and the lower abdominal region. So it's just a nice twist, center, left, center, two more, center, and one. Good job. Okay, now bring your knees into your elbows. Again, if this is hard for you to do, just go ahead and hold on to your cords while you're doing the exercise. Okay, final four, three, final two, and one, nice job. Go ahead, bring them back out, and we're gonna rotate right, center, left. So not that hard once you figure out how to hold those rings tight with your feet. And then you're gonna find it to be an awesome exercise to target an area that we don't often target. Final two, and one, nice job. Knees into the elbows for eight. Now what you're doing is you're lifting your hips and your buns off the mat and rolling back. We've got four more lifted up, three, final two, good job, and one. Grab the bottom of your rings, nice stretch back, stretch it all the way back, hold, and release. Nice job. One more time back, big stretch, and release. Now, grab the outside of your rings, tuck your knees in, and go ahead, press those rings out. That's a chest press. 
Now I want you to do a knee in and out combo. I call this bicycle chest press combo. Give me six more, five, final four, three, final two, and one. Bring those rings up over your head, V out your legs, and now bring your cords into your shins for eight. Lift those hips and buns off the mat, bringing your sh uh, shins all the way to the cords. Final four, lift it up, three, two more, and one. Drop those knees back down, second set for eight, seven, and yes, I know you're feeling it. This is an awesome exercise. Feeling it everywhere. You might even take just a little breather if you need to. Final two and one. Rings over the head and bring it back for eight, seven. Don't feel like you always need to accomplish the workout the very first time. But I do, as I mentioned earlier, I want you to challenge yourself. You need to get to that point of ex ex exhaustion. Final four, three more, two, and one, drop those knees down and press it out for eight, seven, six more, five, final four, three, two, and one. Okay, and so I'm talking about exhaust that muscle until it's just can't do anything more and then you can take a break. Okay, so actually just take a break. Deep breath in and exhale out. I'll tell you that because the next exercise, this one, is definitely a challenging one, but we are gonna have a modification. Knees are in, bring those cords under your bum. Now Diane behind me, she's gonna do, your hands are on top of the ring, she's gonna do just a tiny little lift. As you get stronger, I want you to go into full mode with this. So rings on top, or hands on top of the rings, rock your toes up to the ceiling and release forward. We've got eight of those. Now Diane is just going just a little ways, so she's doing a modification, press it up. But Teresa and I are in more full mode here, pressing our toes up. And I can't see Lisa back there. What are you doing, Lisa? She's doing knees bent. So again, modifications, final two. And hold on one, and release down. Okay, awesome, rock yourself up. Okay, so you should have felt that very much in your core, as well as the back of your arms, the triceps. So that's why we call it sculpted arms. We are definitely working our arms as well. So next part is always a class favorite. And uh, I hope it's yours too, it's mine. So go ahead, down onto your belly for a modified push-up. Now it's best to come up off your mat so you have more clearance to bring yourself down more. So get your cords up in the air, rings are together, and go ahead and come up and you're in about an 11 and one o'clock position with your grip. Now we're gonna take our elbows parallel with each other. We're going down for four, three, two, one, and press it up. Down for four, three, two, one, press it up. Okay, we have six more just like that. Slowly down and press it up. Okay, so where are we working? We are working our triceps, the back of the arms. We're working our chest. We're working our glutes. So we're actually hitting a lot of different areas that Sometimes we miss when we're trying to do a single push-up the right way. So this is a great way to hit the muscles that you really want to work anyway. So I actually always refer to this as the modified, modified push-up. Okay, just give me two more down slowly. It's slowly and then press it up. And final one down, 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 press it up. Hold it here. Tiny pulse, four, three, two, one. Now angle the rings in. Oh yeah, you can feel that out down and hear a little laughter and back here. <laughs> you will feel this, okay? So we're gonna do eight of those. We've got, I think, five more here. Press it in. Final four. Good job. Final three. Angle it in. Final two. Angle it in. And one, hold it here. Pulse up four. Three, two, one, and release down. Okay, rings are out front. Cross your feet, press it out, just a nice stretch. Stretch it out and release. Okay, so you're feeling that a little bit in your lower back right now because it's also working the lower back muscles, but we wanna make sure we get a good stretch before we move on. So go ahead, hands on top of the rings, suck your belly in, press out through your upper back muscles. Now we wanna stretch out through the lower back as well, so angle your rings forward. 
Deep breath in, push it up. And angle it forward and out. One more time, deep breath in, push it in. And forward, deeper stretch. Down onto your knees, angle those rings forward. Bow fully forward, hold the stretch. And release, okay, good job. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's, everybody, let's go to our laying on our left side. Now we're gonna hit another part that we often miss in workouts are obliques. So this is all about the obliques and I'm gonna give you a modification. So right foot in the ring. For those of you who are just getting started, you're gonna do a three and a nine position on your rings. Roll onto your bum on the side, both feet in. Now this is the modification and you're going to drop your legs down and up. Now, as you get stronger with this, I want you to go ahead and just take one hand and your other hand is down and use less resist or assist of the cords to do the exercise. Final three, lift it up, two, hold on one, foot is out, cross, crisscross over for four, three, two, and one. Okay, both feet in, I'll go back to that modification, three and nine position, drop it down, lift it up. Final two, and one, nice job. Okay, go ahead, we're gonna stretch. So go ahead, bring your foot up, hold that stretch, wrap it around until the bottom of your foot is on the, or the top of your foot is on the bottom of the ring, and big, deep stretch forward. Now you girls hold your position. Here's how you get into it if that was hard for you. Take your ring, put it on your ankle, lift it up, and press it forward. So super easy. If you don't find it easy to do that, wrap around your foot, that's all you have to do. Reach back and put your ring on your ankle. Okay, doing a great job. Other side. Okay, so what is it? Left foot is now in the ring. We're gonna roll back onto the cushy part of our bum and we're gonna drop it down for eight and lift it up. Okay, so I'm doing it the more advanced level. Modification, three and nine position on your rings. That extra added help of the assist will make it easier. Okay, final four, good job. Three, final two, hold on one, foot is out. Crisscross for four, three, two, final one. Give me four more drops. Again, this is for the obliques, your love handle region. So an often uh, missed area when you're doing and um, even some of your standard abdominal workouts. So, okay, to the side, big stretch, wrap it around and over your head. And remember what I said, you can just, if you can't do it, just with one move, go ahead and take that ring and put it on your ankle and then press it forward because this is awesome, awesome stretch. Nice job. Okay, we are moving on to our long cords. So what I want you to do is just disconnect the standard cords and grab your, go ahead, grab both your long cords. I'm gonna go through that with you as to which one you wanna use. Okay, the next part we are on our knees and you have your long cord. So I just wanna run through that real quick. You are going to use your long cord, the high tension cord. So how do you know which one is the high tension cord? Okay, so you receive two long cords. One, go ahead and tug it, is high tension. And the other one, you can just kind of stretch out, feels real stretchy. That is your um, lower tension cord. So some of you may have this color. It doesn't matter what color you have. The key is grab your longer cords and feel the tension. So for example, with this particular set, the high tension is the color cord. And with the set that goes with my height and actually all of theirs, because we're between 5'3 and 5'10, it's this black cord, so, okay? So that's really all you have to remember. We're high tension cord. So let me go ahead and just scoot that out of the way. And we are on our knees. And I want you to go ahead and put your, just anchor your ring down with your back feet. Take that ring around to the back. So you're just anchoring it down. You don't have to have your whole ankle on it, just anchor it down. Now go into about a four and an eight position on your ring. Now what we are doing is we are getting, we're gonna grab the, we're gonna target the triceps. So I want you to get into a position where your arms are parallel with each other and just straight up to the ceiling. Okay, so keep them parallel and press up to the ceiling. Again, four and eight position on your ring. Now if you feel like, man, I can do so much more than this, well, you go ahead and put your second cord on. 
but wait until you do two sets of these before you do that because you may change your mind. Final four, three, final two. Hold on one, hold it here. Tiny pulses, four, three, two, one, release, yeah? Thinking, yeah, I don't need that second cord. You can feel this. Up for six more. Final five. Four more up. Good job. Three. You got two more. Hold on one. Tiny pulse up for four. Three, two, one. And release. Okay. Yeah. So generally in my class, this is where I, where I say just shake it out. You just shake it out because you can feel it, but it's awesome because we're getting the back of the arms and this is the part of the body that we don't work very often with just most things we generally do throughout the day. We're always getting our biceps, but rarely our triceps. Okay, good start. Let's move on. So take that ring, right side of your body. Now, here's one thing to keep in mind. You can change the tension of your cord by where you hold your hand. So we've got it in the right hand. I am getting my hand very close to the black connector piece because it gives me more tension. You may need to be at a 12 o'clock position with this because you want lighter tension. But I want you to go ahead and challenge yourself. The more times you do this workout, challenge yourself a little bit more to get closer to the black connector piece. We've got six straight up. Five. How are you girls doing? Four. <laughs> Three. We're feeling it. Two. You're not alone. We're, we are feeling it. And one hold here. Up for four, three, two, one, release. Okay, tiny break, tiny break. We want to do a second set, but you can go more to a 12 o'clock position now if you had it closer to the black connector piece. Up for eight, seven, six more. This will challenge you. Five, breathe, four, three, two, hold on one. Oh, hold it and release. We're not even going to do those tiny pulses on this one. Okay, shake it out. I hear little giggles behind me. I know, I'm pushing it, but if you were in one of my classes, you would see, I'm, I'm pretty much a drill sergeant, so I'm taking it easy. So, okay, so let's go ahead, other side. Again, same thing, I'm going a little bit closer to the black connector piece here, so I get a little more tension, but you do what feels best for you and your level. Press it up for eight, seven, six more, five, final four, three, Two, hold on one, tiny pulses. Four, three, two, one, release. Step in and out, take a break. Do one more set. Up for eight, seven, pushing up now. This is where you're like, I don't think I can make it all the way through. That's okay, take a break if you need to, but next time you come back, you'll be a little bit stronger. Final three, two, oh, push it up one and release. Shake it out, just shake it out. Good job. Okay, chest and back. Go ahead, grab your rings. We're gonna go ahead and go into a chest press and then we're gonna turn it into a back press. So same thing with your tension. Closer you get to your black connector piece here, more tension, right? Less tension out on the outer part. I like to, for the chest, go a little bit closer. You're gonna be a little bit stronger with this one. So go ahead, let's do a set of eight. Let's pull it out and in for eight, all the way out. Pull it out, six, five more, deep breath in and out. Final four, all the way out. Challenge yourselves, four, three, two, hold on one, tiny pulses, four, three, two, one, and release. I know, those tiny pulses are the hardest. They really are, because we've maxed out. So bring your rings out front, we're gonna do a quick Bring them together and roll them out forward. Tuck your belly in, nice stretch. And release. I know, we make it look easy here. We do, but we are feeling it like you are. And I, the whole idea is you gotta challenge yourself. You have to work that muscle to exhaustion. So go ahead, hands on top of the rings. This is a tiny little flip. Flip it over, nice and easy. Flip it over. Now we're gonna target the upper back muscles. Those are also strong muscles, so you can get those hands a little bit closer or not, you can bring them all the way out, less tension. Out for eight, seven, six more, five, final four, three, final two, hold on one, and tiny pulses four, three, two, one, and release. And by the way, just a quick little uh, tidbit here, three of us are grandmothers, so if you're like, ah, oh, well, they can do it, 
we're grandmothers here. Not yet, this gal, she's got twins, twin girls. One day she'll have lots of grandbabies, but okay. We are moving on to glutes and thighs, but we're gonna get the upper body as well. So I want you to prepare for this one the right way. So we're gonna set up uh, step by step. So to get the best glute workout, you gotta set up right. So one ring on top of the other. Your right foot is in the back ring. Now here's what I mean by the proper setup. Push that ring forward until you have full tension on that cord. Go ahead, press that ring back. Now here's key. You're gonna anchor down that front ring between your index and your thumb. Push it forward. Your whole hand is not over the ring, just thumb and index. Pull it up, feel the tension. Now you already feel that in the glutes. Now we're gonna go for some arms as well. So go ahead, tuck forward, toe tap down. Push that ring to the ceiling, toe tap down, push it up. Feeling it in our triceps, our glutes, our quads, a little bit in our core. Final two, hold on one, press it up. Heart rate should be coming up. Toe tap down, now your leg is locked tight. You're just pressing it up, really focused on the glutes. Final six, five more. Final four, almost there. Three, final two, hold on one. Foot is in, press it up. Foot in, press it up. Knee in. Now the key is make sure you've got enough tension. You're pushing and stretching that cord out and pressing that heel up. Final four, by now you're like, okay, I can definitely feel this, you need a break. So two more, come on, you can do it. Final one, press it up, and drop down. Okay, that's good, your heart rate should be up on that one, mine is, okay. So push that ring forward, tuck your belly in, big stretch through the lower back and upper back muscles, just hold that stretch and release. Ring is up, deep breath in, push it up, push it up, and angle the ring forward, and then press it up, and one more time, forward and release. Okay, so if you're doing this on demand, or even with a DVD, you can hit pause. Hit the mouse or the pause button. Take a little break if you need one. Otherwise, challenge yourself. We're going right to the other side. Okay, so left foot is in the ring. Again, set up right. Ring is anchored down, thumb between thumb and index. Pull it up, feel that tension, feel that back of the thigh. This is great for the hamstring. And now we're forward, toe tap. Our arms, elbows are parallel. We're coming down, it's a modified push up. We've got five more, toe tap down, four. Deep breathing in and out. Final two. Hold on one, press it up, hold, toe tap down for eight, lift it up. Seven, press it up. Six more. Final five, we are almost there. This is our last set of exercises before we cool down. Final three, two more. Hold on one, knee in, press it up. Knee in, press it up. If you feel like you need more tension, move your front ring forward. Final four, press it up, three, final two, and one, and release. Woo, okay, so I hear a lot of deep breathing back there. <laughs> Seriously, feel your heart rate. Your heart rate should be up on that one. This is also cardio, so push it forward, tuck your belly in, big, huge stretch through your upper back, lower back muscles. Hold, and release. Okay, ring, deep breath in, push it up and forward. Now, where you're feeling it right now, push it up. You're feeling that in your glutes. So that is a good thing. You wanna work those glutes. You wanna lift that, those glutes up so that you have definition between your thigh and your glutes. So let's go ahead and do a little stretching for that area. We're done. We are, we are done with an absolutely intense workout to your entire body. We did a lot of focus. Bring your right leg over your left uh, to the back of the arms all of your upper body and your core, and with glutes icing on the cake. Okay, deep breath in, exhale out. 
deep breath in, lean into it, and exhale out. Okay, go ahead and roll your rings back, and just nice deep stretch through the spine, and release. So these are some great stretching exercises for you to do even if you're not working out. Just grab your rings, jump down on the floor, and do some stretches. So go ahead, lean into your rings. Your right foot is now over your left. And release, press it up. Deep breathing in and out. Press it up, nice job. Roll it back, deep stretch, and release. Okay, take your rings out front. We're almost there. So go ahead, both rings are together, and press it forward, press it forward. Toes are together, nice stretch forward. A Little bit deeper forward. Just relax, head is relaxed, looking down. Deep breathing in and out. And release, okay, nice job. Okay, as always, mix and match your workouts. Three to four times a week will challenge your muscles to make the changes that you're hoping for, okay? So we look forward to seeing you next time.